The overall goal of the experiment is to estimate the time course of glutamate clearance from astrocytic membranes following its release from excitatory synapses. The first step in this process is to record synaptically activated glutamate transporter currents from astrocytes in acute brain slices in the absence and presence of a subsaturating concentration of the broad-spectrum glutamate transporter antagonist, TBOA. The second step is to analyze the recordings to isolate the synaptically activated glutamate transporter currents from all other components of the evoked response. Next. The filter time course is estimated by analyzing the transporter currents recorded in the presence of TBOA. By deconvolving the filter from the transporter currents recorded in control conditions, the time course of glutamate clearance from astrocytic membranes is obtained. The results show that in the mouse hippocampus, astrocytes require only a few milliseconds to remove synaptically released glutamate from the extracellular space. This approach provides a sensitive tool to detect changes in astrocytic uptake capacity in different brain regions during physiological and pathological conditions. The main advantage of this approach over other methods, based for example on displacement analysis of rapidly dissociating glutamate receptor antagonists, on fluorescent glutamate indicators, or on diffusion reaction computer simulations, is that it provides a high temporal resolution, direct experimental readout of glutamate clearance from astrocytes. This method allows us to understand the spatial and temporal dynamics of synaptic transmission in the brain.